turned off some energy with fetch and at the same time I'm using that opportunity to practice recall again even though you know your dog is going to come back to you I know she's going to come back to me with the ball but I'm going to reinforce that with my invitation she did so well today difference of night and day of some days she healed well enough that I was able to give her breaks from the heel and let her do loose leash and then I bring her back to the heel um, on our way back we were jogging and believe it or not it's easier for dogs to stay in a heel when you're moving fast they like to move fast it's one of the reasons why turning when they're not when they're pulling it's one of the reasons why they quit doing that because they actually want to hit get down the road or the trail wherever you're going they don't want to keep just doing circles and they figure out eventually if I don't bump the leash we get to keep going So now we're ready to start working on Leave It. Um, for Echo right now, the easiest thing is the ball because she loves the ball and that's the hardest thing for her to leave. The thing about the ball is on Leave It, I reward her by giving her the ball then after she's done a good Leave It. Some Leave It's, they aren't going to get it eventually. So you can do the same thing with a treat, but you need to intermix it with leave-its that they're not going to get it. It's a permanent leave-it. You don't bother that ever. So when you're starting leave-it, you should have your dog on a leash so you can control them to not get what you're asking them not to get. And again, the kitty. Don't chase the kitty. Leave it. Humans coming to your door the dogs jumping all over them leave it now one of the things that will help you with that jumping is let people know when they come over to ignore your dog and if they jump on them just turn their back to them but you want them to ignore the dog until the dog is calm and not freaking out about them and sometimes I admit I feel funny saying leave it and I'm calling a human an it but it works so when if your dog has that habit before answering the door, put your dog on the leash so you can control them with the leash controls. For one, you can ask them to heal and stay by you. But And then the second they sort of break to go to the humans, you say leave it and bring it back to them. And then you tell them good, leave it. Again, praise is like the key to these things and we don't chastise them. We don't say no, bad dog. Don't do that do use your words and your leash corrections to get them to get the whole idea because trust me once they figure out what you want them to do they'll do it as long as you're dishing out all that love praise and attention they're going to they want to perform for to get that they really do so it's it's really all on us so I'll be trying to think of some creative ways to play the leave it games with echo this week but meanwhile, every, game, every time we do obedience games, we always practice all the words we know. We always do stay and leave it. Or we always do stay and sit. And if you're up to the point, of, and always on your leash commands, whatever stage of your leash you're on. And then you add another word like leave it 
Okay, leave it is the new thing that you're introducing, but you always want to, that's in the middle of your lesson, the beginning and end, we always want that to be easy stuff that they know. And as you can see, she's not all hyper and jumping around now. We've, we played fetch, we did our walk, we did heel and free leash, and we ran on the way back. <laughs> she's keeping me in shape it's a lot easier for a dog to heal when you're going fast than when you're going slow because now they're in the mode they're in the momentum they're not as tempted to want to sniff they're just in the mode running with you so look how calm and sweet she is right now she's calm enough to go hang out in the bus with me now for a while so I, if I don't burn off her energy when she's in the bus, she's just like a maniac, man. Jumping around, jumping on the bed, off the bed, pacing back and forth. She's just all freaked out because she's still got all that energy. But when she's like this, now Echo can act like a normal dog. It's hard living in a pen. If a dog is in a crate, in a pen, on a, on a chain, anytime you turn them loose, they're freaked, even if they're not a super high energy dog, they're freaked out with joy to be off. And the energy is just oozing out of them. It's the same with horses or cows. When they've been in the barn, when you first open the barn doors and let them out, they run and buck and they're so happy to be free. So that's a perfectly normal reaction. So you combine that excitement with a high energy dog and whoa, and that's what I've had with Echo. So we, the, your 10 minute sessions need to be preluded with your high energy dogs by some way to burn off their energy. Otherwise, they're just too frantic to be focusing on you and the words and the lessons that you're doing. So at the beginning of the lesson, I burn off Echo's energy with Fetch, but I do it with her by herself. Well, RJ's hanging out, but I don't make her compete with Luna because we're sort of in our games. But then, when we're all done with games and all done with reward, then I like to give her time to just play with Luna. So this is sort of a free play. But this is where I am exercising recall with Echo. Now, it's because I know she's going to come to me, so I know every time I'm recalling her, I get to praise her. So we're, while we're playing, I'm getting that in her head. I did it this morning when it's just her. Um, and it was the same with Stay. Some people thought it was funny that when I have my dogs in the car with me and I was going to run into the store, I would always tell my dogs to stay and then shut the door and they go, well, they can't go anywhere. I go, I know they can't go anywhere, but it gives me the opportunity to praise them for what a good stay. <laughs> so any opportunity you have to praise your dog, praise your dog. Now let's do some play. Good girl.